Hey guys, Dr. Jim Stepani here, and I wanted to cover the topic of phosphatidyl serum. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from people wondering what's phosphatidyl serum and what benefit does it have being in a pre-workout? And that's a great question, really good question. Now, phosphatidyl serum is a phospholipid. It's a special type of fat. Won't bore you guys with the biochemistry. But what the research has shown on phosphatidyl serine is it can actually decrease cortisol levels. So it can help lower cortisol uh, when some people feel, well, that makes a more anabolic environment. There's a lot of debate over uh, cortisol and testosterone and how they work together and work against each other. You do need cortisol. Uh, cortisol, you know, everybody talks about cortisol being a stress hormone, cortisol, uh, being sort of a bad thing, but cortisol has many benefits. So you, most people don't need to be considered about lowering cortisol. However, in a pre-workout, uh, having cortisol really is pretty much idiotic uh, because what the research on phosphatidylserine has shown is that it can lower cortisol after workouts, but when it's consumed after workouts. So it would be taken as post-workout, not pre-workout. So if you see a product that has phosphatidyl serine in it, a pre-workout product with phosphatidyl serine in it, you're taking that long before the workout even starts. So it's in at the wrong time. That phosphatidyl serine should not be in the pre-workout, should actually be in the post-workout. That's when you want to take it, if it's a concern for lowering cortisol. Like I said, few people really need to be concerned about lowering cortisol. We're really just beginning to understand uh, how critical cortisol can be. Uh, having too much can be a problem, but typically most of us don't have too much. And just because it rises during workouts does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing. You do need some cortisol, especially during the workout. Whether blunting it after the workout is going to create a more anabolic environment because your testosterone, what we call testosterone to cortisol ratio, is elevated is very questionable. But taking phosphatidylserine before a workout is actually a bad thing because you need some cortisol during the workout. It's critical for energy production, absolutely critical for energy production. So trying to blunt it before the workout even starts actually can have a negative effect on your workouts. And like I said, if you wanted to take it, like I said, I really wouldn't recommend worrying about it, you would take it after your workout, not before your workout. So if you're seeing a pre-workout that has phosphatidylserine in it, it's actually a negative thing for your workout. And it's also negative for your wallet because you're paying for an ingredient that's in the product that shouldn't be there and it's gonna have a negative impact on your workout. So phosphatidylserine, keep it for after the workout if you wanna actually keep it in your supplement regimen at all. So that's uh, you know my, my little uh, reminder about phosphatidylserine for all of you who've been asking me about it. Don't take it before your workout. It can have a negative impact wait till after the workout if you even take it at all.